getting this battery out of here is going to be a chore. I got everything taped off and the wires disconnected. And now I got to I got to slide this thing out back. That's going to be fun. And we do. What's going on with my friends and good old YouTube, Bill? A um, little update on the van. Um, <clears throat> as you saw in the video prior, is me trying to get that battery out of there. It wasn't as really as hard as I thought it would be. It's going to be hard getting it back in because holding all those wires together. But I've got help on that. I'm not worried about that. Definitely have help on that. So, as you can see, I'm in my car. Not in my van right now. Uh, the van is just sitting in my dad's driveway for a while. It's, there's no power in the back, but you know, the battery is on its way. Finally got that shipped to um, Ames. UPS took it. Man, I had no idea it would be up in for a challenge of shipping that battery. First of all, the battery is about 80 pounds. It's a 200 amp hour deep cycle lithium ion battery. Um, what is. The situation with that is those lithium batteries are considered a hazmat, it's a class nine hazmat. So here's something you need to know when you ship this battery out is, uh, be honest, don't give them more information than they need. I took the battery up to a UPS store to package it. And they're like, oh, we can't package that, but we can't ship it because it's a hazmat and blah, blah, blah. Both UPS and FedEx turned me away. No, you can't do it. So I call Ames and I'm like, I'm at wit's end. I mean, from South Carolina, I'd hate that know the fact that I've got to drive cross country to take this battery to the counter at the returns department at Ames in Reno, Nevada. <laughs> I mean, literally, I was prepared to do this. It was that bad, guys. So I had an idea and a hunch, and after kind of talking with the lady at Ames Solar, um, let me go by like a place like Batteries Plus. They deal with this stuff every day. They get batteries in. Maybe they ship batteries out. So I went in to Ames. The guy goes, we ship these. That guy at Ames is at Batteries Plus. I'm sorry. The guy at Batteries Plus is like, we ship these batteries out every day, man. And some are lithium, some are, you know, glass mat, gel, lead acid. You know, just different types of size batteries. He goes, UPS picks them up every day. They don't say anything. I said, well, what do I need to do? He goes, we just put that UN3481. What it is, is I if I've got the number correctly, it's a UN3481. What that is, is that's all they need to know. That's class nine. They know it's not going into a passenger plane. If it goes air, it has to be air cargo only. So I just shipped it ground to be the safe side. And, and, and it dawned on me that I shipped my Jackery out. And it's got a lithium battery in this. When my 240 went to Jackery, and there was no questions asked about this whatsoever. None. So, uh... I, I asked him, I said, uh, would you happen to have one of those stickers? I said, sure, I'll be right. He goes, just ship it into a box. Make sure the box has no labeling on it. Now, it doesn't have Lowe's or U-Haul on it. You can go to a UPS store and they can give you a blank box. Tell them the dimensions of the battery and tell it you need about an inch on each side or, or two more. So he got me a 24 by 24 by 10 or 12 box, which was perfect because I managed to get the styrofoam, um, peanuts and the bubble wrap and they're just fine with it. I put the, everything in the box. He said, tape it up heavily because that's a heavy battery. It's about 80 pounds. He said, just don't put it upside down. Just on the top facing the, on the bottom corner, just straight on the top of the box, put that sticker. And he said, address it. Just type out your address and get it looking good. Don't let it look sloppy. He said, just take it up there and you want to ship it out. They're going to ask, you know, what's this battery used for? And I just told her it's a solar battery and said no more. She goes, okay. And the, and, and the UPS sort facility has a, a desk there we have here, you know, to drop it off and pay for it. They took the box and are shipping it to Reno, Nevada. Who knew? The less you say, the better sometimes. You're not trying to hide something, but it's, it's really, without causing mass chaos, it's really just, they don't really need to know. If you're letting them know it's class nine, they take their right precautions. You've done your part. Some things is just less you say the better. They don't need to know everything. It's not really that big a deal. It really isn't. So 
the battery is on its way. Uh, the, what I'm going to do with my van in the meantime is get some work done. I, I've got to do some stuff with uh, the tray with my refrigerator. The refrigerator is plugged in the wall at my dad's house. It's just going to be parked there. It'll probably be three weeks or so before I get that thing back. And I'm okay with that. I've got some things I want to do. And, um, you know, we'll get this thing tightened up. I just want that solar system to do everything it's supposed to do. I haven't gotten over 100 amp hours on that battery, and I know the battery is. It's probably got a bad battery monitoring system in it, or there's a cell bad. Um, either way, they're going to let me know. They're going to put that thing through its test and its rigor, and they're going to let me know. What I'm kind of hoping, this is what I'm hoping, is unfortunately they told me that this particular battery I purchased was before the ones they started putting the Bluetooth device in. Go figure, it's my luck. I buy one doesn't have the Bluetooth in it. I'm hoping they say, listen, we're going to replace your battery. We'll send you a new one. And it has that because, man, I can actually internally know what that battery is doing from my cell phone. That would be so cool. But anyway, that's the update on that. And things are going well. I just, we get through past all this COVID stuff. I could do some traveling, you know. But I am working diligent with my music. That's another thing I want to start kind of bringing on this channel as well. I have a channel that's music. I may share that on here. If you, It's talking about, you know, the music business stuff, but things I do musically, but I want to share some of my music on, my music on here because I really want to start working on a, a new record. I want to do it. Um, if any of you guys are into instrumental music, um, if you like listening to instrumental music, uh, look up a band called L1011, E-L, like Spanish, L10, like the number 10, 11, like the number 11. Uh, they're an instrumental group, uh, stuff like that. Um, if you like Joe Satriani, I've done records like that. Uh, Explosions in the Sky is a group that they did a record years ago and pretty much soundtracked the whole movie Friday Night Lights, if you ever see that movie Friday Night Lights. So it's music like that, you know. So uh, hopefully I can get myself to a point to start tracking for that. So anyway, I'm hopping off here, running some errands and things to do here, and uh, we'll keep you posted. And as I'd love to say, and is so true something cool comes along you know i'll cut you in be cool